So this video is, it would normally be, okay, we're back from holiday. This is how I put everything back because I suffer with anxiety and I know it sounds strange, but sometimes it helps me to, if I'm having an anxious day in the house, I will just come in here, put the TV on, make a cup of tea. Once the blinds are down, you could be anywhere and it it does help me so normally when i get back off holiday some stuff stays in here some stuff goes back in the house but everything goes back into its place so that we can sit on the sofas and things like that this one's completely different <laughs> because we were on a haven reet and sands it was lovely we were supposed to come back saturday morning which to this filming was yesterday we completely forgot that Monday was May Day. The campsite that Friday night was absolutely rammed. You wouldn't have been able to have moved anywhere. It was so busy. Not ideal for the boys. As you know, both our boys got special needs. Our youngest one in particular is autistic. He doesn't cope very well with lots of crowds and the noise. So we made the decision, not so smart we'll just pack up and go home now that gave us an hour and a half to quickly get our full awning down everything back in the caravan hooked up ready to go which got us home for midnight um but as a result for that we just threw everything in the caravan everything just got thrown over the wheel arch so it is beyond a mess it's not normally this bad to pack up so i'm kind of dreading it a bit but i'm going to show you guys and then i'm just going to get on with it so yeah the sofas i have just brought that down because i tend to just as i go around if it doesn't belong in here and it belongs in the flat it just gets thrown in that basket when it's full, I take it in, I put it away, I come back. Literally everything. This is the bad bit. Just It just all got thrown in. It's an absolute tip. None of this would normally be all here. So now my plan is to try and <laughs> to try and tidy it up and clean it. So that is the awning carpet. It's humongous. I have just tried thinking, oh yeah, I'll just pick that up, fold it up, whack it in where it's supposed to belong under the bench. It's not gonna happen. It's really big, but I'm just thinking, whilst Pete's not got the car on the drive, I'm just going to pause it here quickly, drag it out. In fact, I'll take you with me. Drag it out on the front. You can have a good laugh at me trying to fold this up. And then we'll bring it back in and see if we can fit. If not, this is being left for Pete to do because... I'm dreading it. <laughs> She 
pretty much done it's better than it was you can move around the caravan now it smells nice the battery just ran out on the hoover <laughs> so i think to be fair i'm just going to come down with my proper hoover another day and hoover it out completely there's no rush for that um but at least i can come in now i can make a cup of tea coffee and i can just sit and watch tv if i want to or even just come in here and read my book sometimes it's nice to feel like you're not at home but still have that comfort of being at home if that makes any sense to anybody but yeah i'm done i've got a bad back my head's pounding i've had enough for today <laughs> i'll come in another day and um like i say run the hoover around it properly